Hello, this is Adeptus Nubis, bringing you a very special 1v1 on Caldera's refinery between EL's shiniest Flash, who is now more shiny than ever since he is most shiny as Flash now, playing the Warboss, a very melee offensive oriented hero. He seems to be a, a pirate of some sort, because this is the Freebooters DLC. Uh, he has some very annoying war gear, making him even more tanky and disruptive than he already is. But he is playing versus the great Conholio, the best of Conholios. He is the great Conholio, and he's actually the bane of all that is orc and light infantry, because he's playing the plague champion, ranged commander, defensive oriented can build structures such as turrets. You can now actually only build turrets. Uh, he starts with a damage over time builder, so you might want to watch out for that if you're playing light infantry heavy races. Can upgrade to some incredibly um, offensive war gear with the plague fist and the armor. Uh, I have actually forgotten the name right now. We will see. A uh, very standard opening so far. We have double shooters for uh, Flash. I'm just gonna call it Flash. Um, and we have double CSM for the Great Conholio. It's going to be very nice to DPS down the wall boss and the Sluggers. And CSM are quite capable of melee combat. So if they actually charge down shooter boys once they have forced off the war boss and the sluggers it's gonna be an easy game for them especially with the help of the plague champion here the plague champion is being engaged by the war boss plague champion is actually moving closer to the war boss getting hit by a special attack there and we have another storm here but this time it was the ability he has the ability to stomp and sluggers are wailing on him but here we see some suppression and that is because we have the fetid armor for the plague champion it's incredibly incredibly annoying for everything that is melee because it actually suppresses in a radius around the plague champion and does so repeatedly i think it hits you with 300 courage damage or so every few seconds so it suppresses you and it resuppresses you for quite some duration and conholy already moving to the power farm here from most shiny flash Let's see how flashy his generators are going to be when once double CSM start opening fire on them. We have big shooters now for these shooters. It's going to be very nice, but I think he might have gone for knobs to somehow avoid the bleed. Slag is back on the field. Wobos is off the field now though, and we have Nurgle worship. So easy to play play champion. Yeah, fetched armor, unholy stench or whatever it's it's foul stench or something, something disgusting stench. And you see the CSM have not lost a single model. Well, the bleed on the orc player on Flash is quite high, and you will have to full retreat. You'll have to think of something to force off the plague champion and these double CSM. Heretics now do have the Aspiring Champion, nice choice, considering that they are now very capable of taking on Sluggers on their own, and especially with the help of the Plague Champion, and this power farm is gonna go down, I think. We have double big shooters now, and again, the suppression from the Plague Champion is very annoying, and you can see that he's still being suppressed because it constantly resuppresses in this area. He's still suppressed, but this is insane, you guys. This is insane. Now Sluggers are gonna tie up the Plague Champion. Yes, they do not want that damage for Time Bolter. Um, Plague Champion is pathetic without his melee war gear and melee combat. And the node goes down, Conholio full retreats. Also note that Conholio did have the 2 to 1 cap for the entirety of this uh, little skirmish over here. But now. Oh, but this is very sneaky. A secondary power farm here from Shiny Flash. So this power bash actually achieved 
next to nothing because there's already two generators here. We have a node over here. We have a node over here which would give him more oops, more power income than Conholio actually has. Yes. Conholio only sitting on, uh, sitting on plus 39 compared to Flash's plus 58. Now we do have Havocs. Havocs very important versus the Chaos Lord, uh, versus the War Boss, obviously, since you have to suppress him. Um, considering that he already has the Fetish Armor, uh, no, it's it's still it's still viable, of course. But then this little bit of Miss Micro here, and the Havocs are actually needed here because we have double shooters opening up. On this chaos power farm here. Ooh, but now we have fetched armor and the blight grenades. And we're gonna see suppression. Yep, there we go. And the black grenade. Oh, guys, so easy, right? It's so easy to do the Look at the damage. The sluggers will have to instantly return, uh, retreat because that is just too much damage. Um, Havocs are finally making their way here. And now you see what I meant CSM. And notice this little plus icon above their head. That means they have the Eternal War upgrade as well, giving them a flat plus 20% damage on ranged and melee uh, damage. And down goes the War Boss. But Shiny Flash or Flash already going tier 2. Cornholio quite far from it though. So that might come back to bite him in the ass. But he will discover this uh, power farm now. Yeah, he will have to take it down. Ooh, and we have two more generators over here. I'm not sure whether I would have put those down. I mean, he is on very little uh, pop right now, so I think he's only on um, a pop that are actually uh, putting any upkeep on him since the first 30 pop actually cost you nothing. So he is getting a lot of resources and he should use those to rebuy the Warboss because going into tier 2 without your heroes is quite dangerous. He kind of needs the Warboss right now. And this power form is most definitely going to go down. We have Sluggers on this side not supporting these double shooters which is going to be a mistake. At least he should have uh, kept the Sluggers in the center to potentially flank these Havocs over here with the Havocs are... What are they doing? They're capping right now. They're needed over here, but oh... Not, not being in cover is really showing here. And notice that these CSM have not yet lost a model and... Both of... No, actually, only one of them. Stupid UI. Apparently Cornholio is very tired, but it does not require a lot of micro to play the play champion, so that's fine. Both of these CSM are level 2 already, as you would ex expect, considering the bleed that Flash already took. So, he does have requisition to purchase his war boss. He seems to be waiting for something. Cornholio could take his forces here to just kill the perfect. What do we see here? I must be mistaken. My eyes must. Oh, tier three. That is that is risky. He is going. Flash is going straight for tier three. But that is a huge mistake. That is a huge mistake. This is now Corn's game to lose. Look at the durability of the Plague Champion. That's double big shooters. But even the Plague Champion being worshipped cannot take on these double big shooters. These heretics, yeah, they are very low. Ooh, very nice. He put Touch of Nurgle on them to secure their uh, retreat. They would have gone down otherwise. Let's see, CSM lose two models. Ooh. That's some hefty reinforcement. The CSM need to actually retreat right now. There's no way they can hold against big shooters and the sluggers. 
I guess it's not getting any upgrades. And Sh Flash is tier 3 now. He has still not repurchased his war boss. And the VPs are dwindling down and Wow, that is not good. 260 to 430. Havox will have to retreat. Yes, and I'm not sure why he went for uh, the Blood Crusher here. Surely he must know that Flash is tier 2 already and could easily go for either Beamy Looter or Tank Busters. Considering the duration that has already passed. Hmm, very interesting. Would have gone for a Dreadnought. Oh, but he's cheesy. He's cheesy. He's going for double Black Crushes. Hmm. But Flash is already getting a tank, which is gonna reign supreme versus double Black Crushes, because what can they do? They cannot be sped up because this is the Plague Champion. This is not the Chaos Lord. So, there's no Speed Worship. We shall see. This is starting to get really interesting. And there we have the Blood Crusher, Blood Crusher. Cornholi thinks that it's safe, when in reality it is not. Flash actually went for the boss pull. I'm not sure uh, why. I would have gone for uh, Angry Bits, just to be more disruptive. Um, and give the Sluggers some cover to walk in on. Crusher moves away and Cornholi is immediately not happy with this. A tank, he did not expect a tank, but going double Black Crushes versus Orcs, which are already in tier 2, this is very dangerous play, and it will go down. Yeah. There it goes. One Black Crusher down. There's a shrine though. Ooh, these heretics are being bled to death. We have the fetid armor in play, and the Black Grenade catching everything. And we have Zine Chalux opening fire on this tank. Ooh, if the Blood Crusher only would have charged after the tank would have been dead. Instead the Warboss might go down again. I'm not sure why the Warboss is going in deeper. Yes, it needs to go out. This shrine needs to go. Uh, that, that tank also needs to, yeah, not move back. I'm thinking with the boom shot he wants to take down the shrine. It's on 98 health only. But so far, uh, yeah. We see double Havocs now. I'm guessing uh, they're going to cover the Havocs over here. So if you line them up like like this, you have uh, the AV over here and the, you cover this entire region here, this entire area with your Havocs, then they cannot be tied up in melee combat that easily because most Chinese Flash has only one source of disruption. But he needs to get close to this first, so that's going to be very, very difficult. Plague Champion does have his Plague Fist now. I'm not sure why he got that, but uh, it's going to turn him into quite the melee obstacle for the Orc army. But he does not have his... Um, his plague, whatever armor. I how could I forget the, the, that armor's name? No, he went for double mark of Zinch Helix. It's very interesting. We now see the power claw on the war boss, and if that blood crusher comes close, it's going to get shredded. Because, uh, yeah, there's the suppression from the fetid armor. Yeah, very nice play taking down that shrine because now. The only source of suppression is coming from the Plague Champion. Plague Champion is going to go focus down, I guess. No, it's going to be the CSM. No, you need to focus the uh, Havocs there, mate. And, wow, that could have been a dead Plague Champion. Very nice move here from these Sluggers. There's no suppression around, and these are dead CSM, indeed. Blood Crusher is drawing closer. Why, though? Because... Ooh, that's gonna be very nasty. That's gonna be one dash with squad. The Noxious Cloud here on retreat. That is heavy melee damage on retreat. So disgusting. 
Sluggers do not want to retreat through that. They're sticking in there. Ooh, and that's a dead blood crusher as well. Flash did lose uh, level shooters though. That's gonna be painful. That's gonna be painful for its uh, range damage output. And we have 95 DPS to 430. That is not good at all. But we have some commandos here, and we are very close to a rocks. If he actually wants to go for rocks. Very nice. Chaos have it set up, but they're gonna get disrupted. Slug is gonna tie up the CSM. Tank is gonna slowly move backwards. Yeah. There we go. This Plague Champion has done very well being very disgusting. Throwing around puke and, and bile and all that nasty crap. He's using Pestilence Strike to reduce incoming range damage, but there is no range damage right now, so that was kind of wasted. That Power Claw Wobbers is going to shred these heretic bam, there goes the special. Was that the special? I'm not sure whether that was the special. But he needs armor. He needs an armor upgrade, because right now he's getting shredded by Aspiring Champion Heretics, but there are the Power Claws! So close to going down, these Heretics. 3 HP, and now we have a Mark of Horn Dreadnought. Very interesting, because it's gonna do next to nothing to the tank, which is way far. Oh, wow! <laughs> getting snared by their own Havocs. That is treachery. Not sure what these uh, commandos are doing up here when they need to be moving all the way over here to this victory point. They can infiltrate, you know. Yeah, these sluggers need to start repairing that tank. The tank is done very well. It does have the reinforced plating. Is level two already? Well, very nice, very nice. Yeah, that is going to be very important here. Decapping this, this is very good. It's very, very important. Corn also not going tier three, which is a wise choice because uh, what is he going to get in tier three that is going to crush Flash once and for all? Wobbus now has heavy armor plus 900 HP. He is now almost as tanky as the Terminator Force Commander. Well, he's actually quite far. Terminator Force Commander does have 2500 HP, but is, is heavier infantry. And there is the rocks perfectly placed. These are, oh, these havocs are gonna get it. Zip and they go down. Uh, yeah, that was very, very nasty. The tank moving in here. Warboss also with his Xenos. No, that's not Xenos power, but that's just a power ball. But the Warboss is gonna go down. Not sure why he kept him in here. Could have used maybe some buffs. Did he not have enough red? No, he did not. Uh, but this Dreadnought is also gonna go down. Yeah. There goes the tank. One more shot. Come on, one more shot. Very nice. Laughter Daka here on these noise marines. Disrupt them. The dreadnought goes down. That's some heavy investment. Commandos will have to retreat. If only they could have stuck in there a little bit longer, they could have maybe finished off these Aspiring Champion Heretics, which would have been paramount to breaking Cornholio's back here. 26 to 390. Uh, Cornholio is already saying that the nuke won him the game when he has such a VP lead and still a lot of resources in the bank. Um, that's no time to despair. But he went for a mark of corn uh, CSM here. I am not sure why. These noise marines are actually quite nice because um, the majority of flashes army is ranged so the commandos and the shooters which are level 4 Jesus Christ um, can actually be disabled by the 
noise marines, which are now getting the Blastmaster upgrade. Mm. But the Sluggers can easily be taken care of with the Plague Champion and the uh, Horn Seer. Yeah, there we go. But now we see some uh, Art Boys on the Sluggers. Ooh, that was nasty. We have Touch of Nurgle on the CSM. That is not going to be enough to see the Blastmaster shot. Wow. Nasty stuff. And the Plague Champion, is, he, is, he just isn't tanky enough without his second armor. And he's gonna go down. One more. Oh, that Blastmaster shot. That was perfect. That was very nice. Yeah, these heretics, they have nothing on the Warboss now. Look at this. Look at how tanky he is. He's on 2220 HP maximum. That is just insanity. How will you ever force off this guy? You will never force him off. He will just solo your army. There we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. And now we're gonna see a power bash. I'm guessing that's not gonna be very important because Cornholio has a lot of uh, power already. But it's gonna give him a lot of reg a lot of red or waz it's called for lower players. Yeah, and the Look at the Warbus, he's just he's walking into base here. He does not care about suppression, he does not care about anything right now. He is a one-man army, and Cornholio lost the majority of the map here. He went for another Dreadnought. Let's see if it's gonna be Mark of Zinch this time. Because he needs to deal with this uh, tank. This tank has not been dealt with at all. Boomshot on these KCSM here. Very nice. Uh, Baron, oh, there's the snare and the auto cannon from the Dreadnought opening up here. The Wobbles will have to retreat it's very low, finally, <laughs> after like decades of fighting. And the auto cannon is gonna be very nasty here. It's taking a lot of damage, this tank. Slug is trying to tie up the, the what? Nah, please, no. Don't, don't go fighting the. Ooh. Pestilence Strike, and we have another Blight Grenade. These Sluggers have done next to nothing because of the Plague, because of the plague Champion. Ooh, but this tank's very low. It's very, very low. We have double commandos here, and they're both getting their knob leader, which means they're both going to get a missile launcher, and that is another dead Dreadnought here. That was a huge misplay from Cornholio. Yeah, that, that Dreadnought is dead anyway. Nasty stuff, and there we see the double uh, missile launchers. Fetter armor coming into play again, suppressing these uh, commandos here. These commandos will just, yeah, they will just retreat. And it's a triple cap against Cornholio. Jesus. How this game turned. And now we see, we're gonna see knobs. It's gonna be even more stuff that Cornholio will not be able to deal with. He simply does not have the composition to deal with Flash's uh, army right now. He has no suppression, which means Sluggers... Uh, well, he does have suppression, but the Plague Champion cannot be, like, everywhere right now. Still has Fetter Armor. And the Warboss is most... Yeah, I'm not sure why he put down the Pestilent Strike there. J just look at this. Look at the chunks of health that are just flying away. Oh, he's trying to abuse the uh, touch of Nurgle trick. But that's not gonna work. That got fixed, Cornelia. And you should be ashamed for trying to use that. Yeah. What was this? He's gonna easily tank from all of that. Level 6, look at this. 2,281. There goes the Storm. There goes... <laughs> wow, <laughs> I love... I love those sounds. That little scream. Yeah. Wow, Blastmaster is gonna kill these. Yeah, those are dead seeds. So. One more. Ah, uh, War was gonna get suppressed. But look, look at this. He is taking on this entire army. He's still on 250 HP. But now he will go down. Aspiring Champion Heart takes. Got it. Ah, oh, he retreats. Yeah, uh, it's a good thing he retreated though, because there are some knobs. Knobs have their melee charge. Yeah, you're here, reckon solo my entire army. Yeah, well, if you have no suppression, he can.
and they want to buff heavy armor. He's walking out these corn CSM, yeah, with just one model. That was uh, uh, some mismarker right there. Yeah. What is it? Admitl admittedly, your army composition is crap for taking on more boss. I kind of have to agree. And these, <laughs> that corn dreadnought is not going to do anything better than the previous two dreadnoughts that went down. Because that's a level 3 looted tank, and um, we also have a Power Claw Warboss, and we do have a Nob Squad, which are getting their Nob Leader right now. That's gonna, it's, it's looking very, very bad for Conholy right now. He still has 80 VPs more, but yeah, that's not gonna do it. And we see huge Emmers. It's gonna turn. It's gonna up their damage. These commanders are also a pain to deal with. They're on them good. Sluggers, level 3, and now we see the Knob Squad. Look at this damage. Huge chunks of damage, and he's just driving them. He's driving the Dreadnought in. I'm not sure why. He needs to decap. He needs to decap, or he needs to whatever. Oh, there goes a the touch of Nurgle. But he needs to not have the yeah. Just suck up the damage. Like power claw tank and knobs. Like what were you even thinking? Like, this cannot work. Like raid on these commandos. They should have maybe focused down that aspiring champ and hurt. And the disgustingness is being transferred to everything else. But I think this is GG. That's gonna be dead. That's gonna be dead. Yes, that's dead. And there's the Khan C. Cornholy just lost too much in that final attempt to retake the center and take away those 22 victory points. Remember, guys, Flash was down 400 victory points. And this is the conclusion of this match. That was surely Cornholio's game to lose. And he actually did lose it. Let's look at the Warboss. He is level 8. With 2413 HP maximum. He does have the Power Claw, the Heavy Armor, and the Boss Bolt. I'm guessing the Boss Bolts just to give him a little bit more health. Because it's not... Well, now it's supporting these knobs as well they're gonna benefit from that but it did not before like angry bits would have been a thousand times better just be even more disruptive just tie everything up not let anything shoot at anything we have a level three sluggers they did well they did well we have a level 3 looted tank which did extremely well and then we have, wow level 4 commandos they seem to have um, reign supreme here and then obviously the knob squad it's just at the nail in the coffin here for conholio and then we have the plague champion on the other side level 5 he also did very well he did suppress a lot and um, where's that where's that marine model oh that's annoying okay um, he did very well with the fetid armor and the light grenade. Not sure why he went for the plague fist. Um, that really did nothing for him. Uh, it's I think it was more of a capping tool for Cornholy, but that that was really a waste. That was a huge waste. And then we have these heretics, which refused to go down. That aspiring champion was uh, yeah, he was really touched by Nurgle. And then we have Corn yes, Space Marines. I'm not sure why he went for uh, KCSM there. Just gonna open up so much more possibilities for the Oak player. Like, they could have been so easily controlled with um, Looters and the Weird Boy, for example. And then we have Noise Marines. Noise Marines were a good idea, but they need to be micro better. Like, you need to manually target. Uh, stuff with the noise marines well there you have it 22 to 62 this game is 
won by flash hope you enjoyed it see you soon guys